Inside Nairobi's sprawling Kibera slum, these primary school students are headed to class with a skip in their step. They're 11 or 12 years old and are already learning how to code. We are going to continue from where we left. In today's lesson, pupils must create a short animated clip featuring their favorite animal. A fun and playful introduction to programming with an eye on their future careers. We are introducing them to this. It's because the world is moving to a digital place, you know. So if they get these skills at a very young age, they'll, um, it gives them a chance to be like lifelong learners. I think coding can be their future. Inspired by these lessons, young Joanne is already dreaming of working in the digital sector. I would like to have a job like creating cartoons, stories, and creating games. Kenya recently became the first African country to include coding in its primary and secondary education curriculums. A move that could help cement the country's leadership in the booming information and communications technology sector. Nairobi is already considered one of Africa's major tech hubs, earning it the nickname Savannah Valley. In recent years, new co-working spaces have sprung up like mushrooms across the capital, reflecting a growing global demand for young tech-savvy Kenyans. 11 Python engineers from Kenya are actually going to, are moving um, to Sweden. In fact, they're moving this month. And we have some of the greatest skill sets here. This proves it. The goal isn't only to send workers abroad, but also to bring big tech closer to home. The likes of Google and Microsoft already opened offices in Nairobi, and Kenya hopes more will soon follow suit.